I think we'll call this a bit Birch's Bible. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a ramble, a bit like Ted's notebook as well. We don't often get a chance to talk about the British Touring Car Championship because it's very regional as well. We talk about more open world championship as well and the bigger series as well. So uh, with some space on the programme tonight, we thought we'd give it a quick go. Let's start off then with some of the big events. This is the seventh weekend of the British Touring Car Championship coming into it as well. We've already had the previous six as well and the summer break. So we're now into the tail end of the season. Seven, eight, nine and ten races remain. So uh, there's three races across each weekend. Rounds 19, 20 and 21 took place at Snetterton, a track very close uh, to my heart as I was there last year as well. And uh, even picked up, this got sent to me as well uh, for the British Touring Car Championship, an advert uh, for this weekend's race. I forgot to show this on air on my watch along, so I thought we'll have it here as well for the uh, review segment. Uh, Snetterton's a wonderful circuit, full of greenery all the way around, but this weekend as well, with the heat wave that has devastated many parts of the countryside of the United Kingdom as well, Snetterton looked more like a circuit in uh, the depths of uh, heat wave in Spain as well. The green, green grass was turned into uh, brown dust as well, more akin to racing in Bahrain in the desert as well. In round 19 as well, it was Colin Turkington who took a fantastic pole position on Saturday as well, literally just a second over Jake Hill. Now, during that qualifying segment as well on Saturday, they were separated by about 69,000. It was a last lap dash for Turkington, who celebrates his 500th touring car race this weekend as well. He led from pole position, he led every single lap, checkered flag was at the end as well with the fastest lap and the way the point system works as well is you get 20 points for winning a race you get one point for taking pole position you get one point for the fastest lap and you get one point for leading a lap so we came away with 23 points a fantastic haul there for colin turkington jake hill finished in second place as well with uh call it with uh tom ingram finishing in third adam morgan was fourth as well and uh, the good thing about with the touring cars is as well it's more the road going cars you see so we've got bmw 330es as well we've got hyundai's as well honda civic type r's involved as well and some really great racing jason plato a legend of the series as well in his last season finished sixth in the first race as well and had what his best weekend of the season as well not to say that all the cars got away with it though because in the first race Ada Moffat was punted off as well into the wall down at turn number one in a move that was very much akin to what we might see in NASCAR as well a, a three into one pincer maneuvement as well with on the inside Jack Butel who's a young development driver touching the back of uh, Josh Cook in the BTC racing sponsored by comically enough Rich Energy. Those of you who watch Formula One might remember that. Uh, Energy Drinks Company, they now sponsor the British Touring Car team as well. And uh, Josh Cook, with nowhere to go, hit the side of Aidan Moffat, spun round, hit the back of the barrier as well. They couldn't lift the car away, so he got left there in the gravel trap at turn number one. Uh, but Jane Edwards' car, Michael Crease, and Tom Chilton, all of those cars overheating. Now, it has been over 30 degrees at Snetterton as well in terms of temperature, and that may sound cold to, uh, to those of you in America, but it's 30 degrees Celsius, so it was roasting uh, as well, and the car's not designed for this high temperature to race in as well, so they were overheating a lot as well, and at one point during the weekend, Aidan Moffat it actually retired in race two with that same coolant issue and it got propped up by a rake literally the bonnet was open or the hood uh, was open uh, being held down as well with that uh, rake just to get the coolant in now into race two race two uh, sees the starting grid being taken from the race one results so Colin Turkerton once again started on pole position and once again did a domination back to back wins it's very rare for that to happen in the touring cars as well and Colin Turkerton is 500 Grand Prix weekend taking that opportunity to do the double he took the victory again uh led every lap got pole position as well and won the race and the fastest lap so again another 23 bonus points added to him moving him closer ahead of the championship as well uh jake hill was second tom ingram in third position so uh, exactly the same podium in race one and race two and race two was littered again moffitt was out of the race will powell rick parfitt gordon shell and dexter patterson all of their cars uh, retiring with overheating issues as well further down the field. And Rick Parfit Jr., of course, uh, is the uh, son of Gary Parfit as well as he comes in, and Rick Parfit Jr. as well coming in. Um, you might also 
recognise Will Powell's name. It's not Will Power, don't get worried. Uh, on to round 21 then, and a post-race penalty has been enforced for Ricky Collard, who's the son of Rob Collard, a former driver in the touring cars. He did finish in third, but he's now actually dropped down to fourth. So this is an amended result from when I sent it to Joe. So that's only broken in the last hour. The stewards have been very busy in that as well. So uh, Rick Collard has actually dropped down to fourth, but it was a reverse grid format. So basically what happens for that in race three, if you wonder why Colin Turkins has suddenly finished down the order in sixth position, race three's grid order is randomly decided by the ITV Sports Studio. Literally, it's a lottery. They have a big lottery ball and inside is number is positions one to 12. So those finishing in the top 12 from the previous race, which was Turkington Hill, Ingram, Morgan, Jelly, Collard, Plato, Robert of Sutton, Hand, Lloyd and Butcher, all them get entered into the uh, pot and then a celebrity driver puts his hand in, picks up the ball and says, you're on pole position. In this one, uh, the driver picked up position nine, which was Ash Sutton. So Sutton got put onto pole position. Race three was the best race of the day because Sutton actually got overtaken at the start of the race. Uh, by the driver who started alongside him on the front row as well of Dan Robottom. But Robottom then hit tr problems and dropped down the field. So Sutton regained the lead in some fantastic battling. Sutton took the victory. Jason Plato, who started in this race his 650th entry, making the most uh, historical, uh, most entries into a British touring car race. Historically as well, he's now the best entrant of all time in terms of the amount of championships had as well. So Plato started 650th uh, race and got second place. Tom Ingram finished in third again. So he's now been third in every single race. Great points for him to bring him back up into the championship as well. Uh, Colin Turkey to finish in sixth on his 500th start as well. So he ends the weekend with two wins, two uh, dominations as well, and loads of the points. And speaking of the points, coming into this one, Colin Turkington now leads with three races to go at Thruxton, Silverstone on the national circuit, and then back to Brands Hatch on the Grand Prix layout. Uh, Turkington leads in two 182 points. Second in the title with a great weekend is Tom Ingram. He's now on 267. And Jake Hill, despite being second in two races as well, had a poor race three. He got now 258 points, one clear of Ash Sutton on 257. It's very much a four-way fight in the last three races coming up as well. Three weekends left, about nine races as well. And the touring cars look to go from strength to strength as well. And to round out as well, uh, the next meeting Meeting is in two weeks' time at Thruxton, and it's going to be another classic because at Thruxton, it's the fastest circuit in Britain. Average speeds are over 110 miles an hour. <laughs> 